Craving authentic Mexican carnitas, but don't feel like dealing with a racist lawyer? Stay tuned. We will assemble everything in a slow cooker. Now, there's only one meat for carnitas, and that's pork butt. Oh, and uh, despite its name, it's actually from the shoulder region of the pig. So why is it called pork butt? Why do I look more like my mechanic than my actual biological father? Some questions are just better left unanswered. Anyway, before this video gets demonetized, let's chop our pork into fist-sized chunks. And uh, you might come across a bone or two, but don't throw it away. You can make a nice rich stock out of this. And once our pork is queued up into nice big chunks, transfer it to our slow cooker bowl. Then take one onion and chop it into quarters. Add it to our pot. Then take five cloves of garlic and slice them up. Add it to our pot. Oh, almost forgot. Don't forget to sprinkle everything liberally with salt. Next, take two oranges and juice them. Add it to a separate bowl. Oh, for an extra bit of flavor, stick the orange peels into our pot. Then take one chili pepper in adobo sauce and dice it up. Add it to our bowl. Along with a tablespoon of the reserved adobo sauce. Let's add two and a half teaspoons of chili powder. A tablespoon of cumin. And a teaspoon and a half of dried oregano. Mix everything together. Add it to our pot. Then add enough chicken stock to come up halfway. Now, slap on the lid. And cook it on low for eight hours. Actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so let's just cook it on high for five and a half hours. It's been five and a half hours and our carnitas are done cooking. Now you can have your carnitas like this, but we're going for authentic Mexican carnitas. And you know what that means. Oh yeah, we're frying them. In a straight sided saute pan, fill it up two thirds of the way with oil and bring it up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Our food shortage is common where you live. The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Now, using a skimmer, gently pick up our pork and gently duck it into our fryer. Once the pork is golden brown and crispy on all sides, take it out of the fryer and place it on a baking sheet lined with paper towel. And once the carnitas are done frying, shred them up Put it on a tortilla and top it off with salsa. Homemade salsa that is, none of that New York City store-bought crap. I mean, come on, the Mexican community suffered enough this year. This has been Jade's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Para mi gente, con una pasión.